Hi guys, it's Mrs. C again. Welcome to my math video. So do you remember all those lemons I had yesterday? Um, there was just so many of them I got from my neighbor's tree. Well, I juiced them all so I can make lemon bars. And I thought this would be a great opportunity to teach about measurement. So do you remember before spring break, we were learning about measurement on a ruler and a yardstick and a measuring tape. So now I'm going to talk about measuring in cups and teaspoons and tablespoons. So this video will be um, a little lesson on measurement, the different measuring tools and how we use them. Hey guys, so here are all of my measuring tools. These are measuring cups. They're different sizes. Let me look, show you this way. So you look at that one's bigger than the middle one. That's the smallest one and this is the biggest one. This one right here goes up to one cup. There are numbers right here. One cup equals eight ounces. This one goes up to two cups. Cups is a measurement, type of measurement. And two cups equals 16 ounces because eight plus eight equals 16. This big one is four cups, which is 32 ounces because eight plus eight is 16. 16 plus eight is 24. And 24 plus eight is 32, okay? These are also measuring cups. It tells you how much you can measure with each cup right here on the handle. So this is only one fourth of a cup. So it's not a full cup, it's only part of a cup right here, one fourth. You need four of these to equal one cup. This is one third of a cup. So as you see, it's a little bigger than that one. Okay. This one is a half a cup. It's bigger than these two. And you need two of these to equal one cup because it's half. And this is a cup. So this, see it says one cup. This measures the same amount as this. They're just different types of tools. And I'll be using both of them. These are like spoons, but they're measuring spoons. So this one says it's half of a tablespoon. This is two tablespoons. See, it's pretty big. This is one fourth of a teaspoon and one eighth of a teaspoon. I'm not really going to be using those, but I just wanted to show you them so you could see the different types of tools. So th this is the lemon juice from all of those lemons I got from my neighbor's tree. It's four cups of juice. That's a lot of juice. I want to just show you something on here really quick. So here we have one cup and here we have two cups. Remember we said one cup is eight ounces and two cups is 16 ounces and you can figure that out by using groups. So one cup equals eight ounces. Remember on a ruler we said 12 inches equals one foot? This is kind of the same, it's one cup equals eight ounces. And if we have two cups here, we could just make two groups. So here's a group, here's my other group. So group one and group two, Let's separate them. One cup is four, oh, whoops. Is it four? No, it's eight. See, I made a mistake, but that's okay. Let's erase it. Eight and 
one, one cup is eight. Eight plus eight equals 16. So that's how I know two cups equals 16 ounces. What if I had three cups? And I need to know how many ounces that was. So let's figure that one out. And you could do that by using groups. Say you didn't have a big measuring cup like this that told you that how much three, ounce, three cups was in ounces. And you just had these two, but you needed to figure it out. So let's make our groups. Group one, two, three. Eight ounces, eight ounces, eight ounces. So that's three cups, and let's add our ounces together so we know how many ounces are in three cups. So we know eight plus eight equals 16, right? 16 plus eight, you have to do some regrouping here. Or, well, carrying, you have to carry to the, to the tens, right? Because what's eight plus six? Eight plus six is 14. So we put the four here because there's four ones and we have an extra 10. So what do we need to do with that 10? We need to put it in the 10 spot. So now we have two 10s. So that's one, two, 20. And remember, I don't do this, right? Because that would be 204 and that's not right. We don't put the zero. So we have 24. So three ounce, three cups is 24 ounces. And I was right. Three cups is 24 ounces. Now, my recipe calls for a half a cup of freshly squeezed lemon juice. This is four cups. That is way too much. So I'm going to take the little measuring cup here. And I'm going to carefully pour it in here. Let's see if I could do this without spilling it. I don't know. It's kind of hard because it's really full. Okay. Let's see if I could do it. Oh, I did. I think I might. No, I didn't spill any. So let's see, did I get it right? It's a little over and that's okay for this. Sometimes you have to have it perfect, but for this, that's okay. I still have a lot of lemon juice, so I'm going to put that to the side. So let me put it over here. It's not in the way. Now, my recipe also calls for one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. So I can use this one because look, there's one cup, one and a half. So if you have the right tool for the job, it makes measuring very easy. Okay, so let's see if I can do this. I haven't figured out how to record things and not have to hold it. So let me try something. Hold on one second. Hey guys. So I flipped the camera around so I can measure it this way. So we'll see how that works. Let me put it back a little farther. So now, kind of new to this whole, whole thing. Okay. So I'm going to measure. I need to measure one and a half cups. So I need to measure up to here to here, okay? Let's see. So when you're measuring, see how it kind of looks like a mountain? You have, to, you have to flatten out that mountain to make sure you measure the correct amount. Let me look. And oh, it's a little bit too much, so I'm gonna put some back.
a little bit too much still. Okay, I think I got it. So, one and a half cups. That's for the crust. Okay, now, huh. hey guys, that's my washing machine saying laundry's done, but that's Mr. C's laundry, so he can do it himself. <laughs> okay, I don't know if you could see that. Hold on one second. Okay, now I need to measure powdered sugar. Right here, it says I need one fourth cup powdered sugar. So what I'm going to do, because powdered sugar is messy, I'm going to use this scoop right here. Okay, so I got my scoop. You stick it in the bag. It's a much easier way than pouring something messy like powdered sugar into a measuring cup. And you just fill it to the top. Pretty good, put that down there. And for the crust, I also need butter, 3 fourths cup of butter. So on butter, let me show you right here. Butter has the measurement on the stick for you. It's measured in tablespoons and it has a total of one, let's see that, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight tablespoons. And here it says eight tablespoons equals a half a cup. So that's not three fourths of a cup. That's not enough. So I'll need this one and I'll need this little mini butter. This little mini butter is one fourth of a cup. Now we won't go into adding fractions because we haven't even learned that yet. But I just wanted to show you the measurements on the butter. There's measurements in all different forms, and that's how you know what to use. Okay, so I have all my ingredients here, right here for the crust. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make that, and I'm going to pause the video. And when I come back, we will work on the lemon bar filling and how to measure that. Hey guys, I'm back. So I have the crust cooking in the oven for 20 minutes. And while the crust is cooking, I'm going to make the filling for the lemon bars. So we already know, let me get these out of there. We already know that I need one half a cup of freshly squeezed lemon juice. And we measure that out in the measuring cup right here. Okay. I also need one cup of powdered sugar. Now, I could use this, but remember I said powdered sugar is kind of messy. So I'm going to use the scoop because it's a lot easier. I'm trying to pour powdered sugar. Powdered sugar is so messy, it would just go everywhere. So I'm going to measure out my sugar. a lot of sugar. These are going to be very sweet. When you measure in the scoop, you kind of even out the top so you don't have too much and you don't have too little. So I've got perfect. I did it in the bag. So I'm going to pour that in the bowl. Hold on one second. It says I need two tablespoons of flour. So let's use my measuring spoon. I didn't think I was gonna have to use this. What a surprise. So I'd have two tablespoons right here. And I have a little confession to make. I don't have flour. I went to the store this morning and they were completely out of flour. So I have pancake mix, and you're probably like, 
what? Pancake mix? Yeah, I use pancake mix instead of flour because if you look at the ingredients, it's all pretty much flour. And there's no eggs in this pancake mix. You have to add your eggs separately. So just kind of a pro tip, if you're running out of flour or you don't have any and you need it, use pancake mix. So I'm going to, again, scoop my pancake mix and I evened out the top so I have exactly the right measurement. Pour that in a bowl. Pour my lemon, half a cup of lemon juice in the bowl. And I need four eggs. When I do eggs, I'm not very good at cracking them, so I crack them separately so I don't get shells in what I'm making. So there's one. I already put one egg in there. Let me see how much, uh, I've got three eggs in here. Let me see what the measurement is. Wow, it says it's two thirds of a cup. It's up to about right there. Two thirds of a cup. That goes in there too. We want to mix all those together. And when the crust is done, I'm going to pour it on the crust and cook them together. Okay guys, here's the crust. It's done baking. See, it's a little brown. And I'm going to add this to the crust. And I'm going to bake it for about 20 minutes. When it's done, I'll um, cool it off. And when it's cool, I'll put powdered sugar on it. And hopefully they taste good. Rico and Rocky wanted to say hi. Say hi guys. Say hi. Want a treat? Let's see if Rico will get up. Get up. Turn around. Turn around. No, nope, you're just going to walk. Okay, here you go. Hey guys, I hope you like that short math video on measurement and different measuring tools. I just wanted you to see there were more types of measurement tools than just rulers, yardsticks, and measuring tape and you have to know how to use measurement for a lot of things you do in your life. Um, maybe you won't ever use a ruler that much, but if you're baking or cooking, you're gonna have to use measuring cup at some point. So it's good to know the different tools and how to use them. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so every time I upload a new video, you'll get notified. And thanks for joining me and I'll see you later. Bye.